hello guys welcome back to the code mat uh, it's a day 16 from the lead code zone challenge and today's problem is a valid uh, ip address now uh, for this uh, problem we will uh, see different approach to solve this problem uh, before we proceed if you are new to the channel please do subscribe we solve a lot of competitive problems now let's start uh, with the problem what problem says is uh, write a function to check whether an input string is a valid ipv4 address or ipv6 address or neither okay so what we want here is we have a given ip address in a string format and we would like to check whether it's ipv4 or ipv6 if it is not any of these two then we need to return a neither in the output so what what all clause we have to check for the ipv address ipv4 address ipv4 address are uh, canonically represented in a dot decimal notation which consists of four decimal uh, numbers each ranging from 0 to 255 uh, separated by dots for example 172.16.254.1 this is a valid ipv4 uh, example besides letting 0 in ipv4 is invalid for example uh, the address 172.16.254.01 is a invalid so here uh, if you see the things or the uh, uh, conditions we need to just check for here is we first it needs to be whatever the numbers uh, lies between these dots that needs to be in range between 0 to 255 second rule is uh, the number should not start with the 0 so that's the two rule we need to check for the IPv4 and the, then the for IPv6 address are represented as 8 groups of 4 hexadecimal digits so every groups uh, there are total 8 groups and each group can have a 4 decimal uh, or hexadecimal digits each group represented 16 bits okay the group are separated by colon for example the address the given address is a, a valid uh, uh, ipv6 address also we could omit some leading zeros among four hexadecimal digit and some lowercase uh, characters in address to uppercase ones so given this address though there are some zeros in the leading but it's a also a valid uh, ipv6 address okay however we do not replace consecutive groups of zero value with the single empty groups using the two separate uh, columns to pursue simplicity okay for example if there are here if you see zero zero so we cannot uh, remove this zero and will uh, add as an empty space so this is an invalid uh, uh, ipv6 address besides extra leading zeros in ipv6 is also invalid for example so if this is the case then a leading zero this is not a valid ipv uh, for ipv6 address okay so from the definition it's a pretty clear that uh, probably we need to do a, a more on like if or if else conditions to check different rules for ipv6 and ipv4 so there are three different ways we can solve this problem so the first approach uh, we can apply here is uh, we what we can do is uh, we can use the package already inbuilt package available in the java.net uh, the class called inet address okay this class having a method called uh, get name okay this method will give you if you pass a ip address string it will return whether it is a ipv4 object or ipv6 object so whatever the return object just check whether it is ipv6 object or it's ipv4 object based on that we will return the result or if uh, any, none of them is there then we can return a ni a neither in that case so it's a pretty simple solution only single line we need to return or a single line of a code we need to write to solve this problem okay the second approach we can take here is a regex approach okay uh, there are already inbuilt regex or uh, regex available for ipv4 addresses as well as ipv6 address we can use that and we can try to match with the uh, given uh, ip address string if it match then we will return this otherwise this or if none of them will match then we will return a neither in that case and the third approach is whatever the rules that is kind of a brute force all right the kind of rules we have written in the definition itself we will try to implement those rules in our code itself and uh, we can check uh, uh, the IPv whatever the string given to in the input we will check for the IPv4 as well as IPv6 and if in any of the case if it if it fails to 
uh, satisfied the conditions given to that then we can return a uh, neither or uh, not possible from there okay so in this example we will try to implement with the third approach because first two that is already inbuilt functionality given in the java so we will use a third method to write down a code all right now let's go back to the code editor and review the code for that all right so in the input we have given as ip address as a string so what first we will do is we will split with the different denominator so here it is a, a splitter is a dot and here it is a colon so we will split with that and uh, then we will check for ipv4 the length of the numbers should be 4 only okay if it is less or higher than that uh, that means it is not a valid scenario all right uh, and then let's first understand with the ipv4 so in the ipv4 the two rules we had is it needs to be 0 to 255 the all these numbers all right and there should not be any uh, zero starting number should not start with a zero so these two condition we need to check all right so here we will iterate first we have already split the number then we check the length then we will iterate for all the numbers okay and then we will check is ipv4 is it satisfying those two condition or not now let's see ipv4 uh, method so here what we are doing here is this condition will check whether is there any zero uh, starting uh, number having any zero uh, or not so what we are doing is we are first passing that integer a string to the integer so if there is any zero so it will get removed because if you convert the st uh, string to integer in that case it will be converted to the exit number and then again we are converting that to the string and then we will check with the exit string so if there is a string having a zero then both this string will not match because here after you convert from integer to string the zero will not be there so in that case it will be false all right and second condition we will pass that to integer and then we will check whether it is in a range or not all right if uh, here the another condition that we need to check here is let's say if the given number having some alphabets in between 1 7 a so in that case we may have a number format exception so in that case also we are returning a false all right this method or if this all uh, conditions will get passed then we will return true that means that whatever the number we have passed 172 16 254 that is passing the ipv4 so we will iterate four times this method and all the times if it is passing that uh, ipv4 conditions then we will continue all right and then at the end we will return a, it is a ipv4 okay now the same logic we have applied for ipv6 so in the ipv6 if you see uh, we will first check whether the as we already split it so we will first check whether the length is 8 or not all right if it is a 8 then only uh, iterate over it okay and then we will same logic we will apply we will iterate one by one for uh, given numbers for 200db8 that way we will iterate for all and we will again call a ipv6s okay ipv6 also having its own uh, validation rules we have written over there so first it says like the length should be between four because that is the one condition that is given to us so everywhere uh, it should have only four four characters okay the second condition we will check in that one is uh, it should have uh, whatever the number we are passing that should be uh, base 16 integer it should be ha it should have 0 to 9 as well as a b c d e f those many characters that can allowed in that number all right so what we are doing here is if there is any other alphabet other than the hexadecimal so in that case this number format exception will we, we will get when we so what ultimately we are doing here is we are converting this string and trying to see is there any other alphabet other than the hexa okay so if there is any other alphabet let's say uh, hj any of the that alphabet is there character is there in the given number then this will give a number format exception so in that case we will return a false otherwise we are good and it should be greater than zero and there is one more condition that we need to add is there could be possibility like your number will start with a minus zero okay but minus zero may not be a valid condition so we need to check the extra condition is that the zero character should not be the minus okay that looks to be good now let's run this code all 
all right looks to be good let's submit it all right it got submitted so that's it in this video hope you like it guys if you have a different solution i would suggest you to write it down in the comment box see you in the next video till the time bye bye